Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy AT back at it with another reaction. Now, if y'all couldn't tell from the title, man, like by the day we got the Saints versus the Buccaneers reaction, coach. This is week one of NFL action. For all the ones who don't know, we're gonna start it out. Your boy's a Saints fan. You feel me? So I'm rocking with the Saints heavy, coach. You feel me? We coming with Saints reactions all season. If you rocking with me, and if you remember us from the reactions last season, drop a hashtag who that in the comments. Bro, we, we we going for that Super Bowl this season. You feel me? We been we didn't caught a, a hand of bad luck like three seasons in a row. That's tough. So hey, we got hey, we definitely trying to come out here and do our thing this season, make it to the Super Bowl and go crazy. Um, of course, like I said, we played the Buccaneers today. They got Tom Brady, of course, Gronk. Um This was actually a pretty good one, bro. I actually got to check out most of the game. I didn't get to see all of it, but I saw a good amount of the the uh, game so here's what it is i was just gonna wait and do a reaction to the highlights itself but i was like hey, i might as well go ahead and check it out just so i could see what actually happened outside of just a 10 minute video for the highlights you feel me um but just a heads up bro we about to do a reaction to the actual highlights right last season your boy got copyrighted randomly like months after doing a reaction to the saints game i got a copyright strike on my channel so we're going to try it this season. We're going to start it off with the highlights. If all goes well, we're going to be doing that for the whole season. If your boy lucks out and get a copyright strike, I'm going to still be coming with reactions to the actual game, but it's just not going to be to the highlights. You feel me? I'm going to just make sure I watch the entire game. As soon as it's over, I'm going to come to y'all with like a talking video, basically just giving y'all my thoughts on how the game went. And I might throw some stats up and maybe a few highlights here and there. You feel me? But like I said, we're going to start it off trying it out with the highlights. If all goes well, we ain't got nothing to worry about, coach. But just in case for the ones who might be wondering later on in the season, if it does switch up, y'all know why. You feel me? But either way, I've been doing a little bit too much talking. No need to hold this up. We about to go ahead and check this out. Saints versus Buccaneers week one. And hopefully it's some heat, but y'all already know. Before we hop into this, if you're new, be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're enjoying the video throughout, take some time out, smack that like button for your boy. I definitely appreciate it. Let's go ahead and hop on into this. All right, bro. Hey, and as y'all noticed, we ain't gonna have too much audio either, you feel me? I got the audio playing out of my phone and it's turned down low, coach. But uh, I seen what, look at my boy Breeze. I'm a, and I'm gonna I'm I'm try not to pause it too much. I'm gonna keep it playing for most of it, but passing yards 77,000. 547 on the touchdown passes most all time. Let's go crazy. Taysom Hill? Bro, it's crazy to me. Like I said, this season really just came up out of nowhere, bro. Like, I, I had heard they were going to skip regular season, or not regular season, um, preseason. But the way these games start, it's like, bro, I literally found out a day before, or that, matter of fact, on the actual day of that, the Chiefs and the Texans was up playing on that Thursday. I was like, my nigga, the season started already? That's tough. But everybody expecting the Buccaneers to be our biggest competition this season. Of course, because they got Brady and Gronk. I mean, more so Brady, but really Brady and Gronk, I feel like. You feel me? But off of this game, bro, that's a tough catch. Off of this game, bro, our our defense had a couple big big plays in this game too. I think we had one pick six. And that and that pick six was was beautiful, my guy. But I know everybody expecting the Buccaneers to be this amazing team this season. I mean, I ain't gonna knock them, you feel me? They they may come out and like go crazy, you feel me? But all I'm saying is y'all gotta y'all y'all still gotta get through us, you feel me? Don't act like the Saints don't don't exist, my nigga. Now that right there was tough. There go Brady getting fired up, my nigga. Calm down. These highlights moving quick as hell, ain't they? Bro, I hope this is a full game. All right, safe. And I heard that my Saints was trying to get Jadavian Clowney, coach. But something like they they didn't let it 
the uh, trade go through or something like that, bro. I can't remember what they said happened as to why we didn't get him. Can somebody give your boy some info in the comments? Why did we not get to sign Clowney? Because he ended up signing a one-year deal with the Titans, I believe. But, um... Okay, 7-0. But Clowney, I remember him just from that big hit he had. I think he was playing for South Carolina in uh, college. And I'm a I'm a Michigan fan as far as college goes. You feel me? But he had a he had a big hit on on the us one year, bro. Like that mess was too wild. Nigga jumped the damn line, came through, bro. That bit was tough. I know if y'all know Jadavian Clowney from from college, you know exactly what a hit I'm talking about. On, on Michigan, he took my man's out, fumbled, and everything else. Close the door, my guy. Close the door. And my nephew's coming in. I'm trying to do the reaction. You feel me? It's tough. Hey, Kamara had a tough touchdown today. I see, I see he's still playing, you know what I'm saying? He's still bouncing off them tackles, coach. My boy's still going crazy. But they did have um I heard something about Kamara was trying to get a new deal, like a new contract or something, but the Saints was kind of holding out. Saying, bro, don't don't play around and lose this man Kamara, bro. So Kamara had at least two touchdowns today because he had that one and he had another one I saw later. Matter of fact, I could check all the stats right now. Hold on. Sixty-four yards. Okay. So Drew Brees threw for one six. Yeah, that one right there was the first interception. I think Brady threw two today. Now, that one I think they said was on Mike Evans because he, he should have kept running. But, hey, stay, hey, that's still an INT, you feel me? That's tough. And um, that was a close one. But they did call, I think they called a pass interference on that. Michael Thomas had a tough catch today too, bro. It was only like a five, five to ten yard catch max, but it was tough as hell, bro. That's the one I seen, bouncing off them tackles like it ain't even nothing there. That's tough. These highlights are moving kind of weird. I don't really understand. But these ain't the official highlights, you feel me? Your boy had to go with a... Y'all see it ain't no fans up in the stands. They had like five people spread out up in the stands. That's kind of crazy. And I heard that they using a crowd noise and all that, kind of like the uh, NBA doing. But I'm like, that that definitely ain't the, the uh, same. In, in the Superdome, with all them fans in there, that definitely is not the same. Look at my boy Breeze going stupid. He going stupid. First and... Hold on. Let me run that back. First thing, completions, pass yards, and TD passes. Let's go crazy. But Breeze threw 18 for 30. 160, 160 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Tom Brady threw 23 for 36, 239 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Okay. Oh, yeah, this was kind of wild, bro. Niggas was coming at Mike Evans. They was like, Mike Evans, all he do is cry and uh, drop passes. I thought Mike Evans wasn't, I mean, I thought he was actually a pretty good receiver. But on this play, that should have been, that that really should have been two penalties, bro. It should have been a penalty on Lattimore and a penalty on Evans. But they only gave one to Lattimore. Because I'm like, Evans is, Evans is running after him and, like, he roughing him up too, you feel me? So if you're gonna give Lattimore a damn penalty, you gotta give one to Mike Evans, but of course they didn't. 
Man, you about to break my man's neck, ain't you? So this right after the half. That was the interception I saw, bro. That was tough. That was tough. That man jumped that like to perfection. It's crazy to me that there's really no fans in there, though. It's like a scrimmage game at this point. Like, or I mean, you would think it seems like that, but. Now, this made no sense to me. Look at how, first of all, look at how he's running towards him when they show the replay. Now, I do get it. Mike Evans possibly could cut in or, like, hit a little curl route, but you're running directly at him as he's running directly down the field. You feel me? So, clearly, he going. Right, he's already fast, so he's going to outrun you if you just, like, I didn't understand why he didn't angle that better. This was a tough run, though. I ain't going to lie to you. That was a, that was a tough run. That little hurdle right there, that that was tough. But bro, I know all y'all watching right now ain't Saints fans. You feel me? So if y'all if y'all not, get down there in the comments and let me know what team y'all rocking with this season, who y'all going for, and who y'all see going to the Super Bowl, bro. You feel me? From the NFC, of course I'm picking my Saints. You already know that. AFC, I want to say, yeah, I think this was a pass interference too. They called. Bro, Emmanuel Sanders was going to work today, my guy. Like, going to work. Or at least on, on those couple plays I seen him, he was he was going to work. But I got the Saints in the NFC from the AFC. Low-key, I want to say Baltimore or the Chiefs. But I feel like that's just a typical pick, you feel me? But either way, I mean, those are two teams I'm going to go with. NFC, like I said, I got I got my boys taking it. So 17 to 24. I think I stopped watching it after this. Taysom Hill? Yeah, I was like, he got there's too many white jerseys coming at my boy at one time. Eee! Hey, Cook dropped a Cook dropped a wide open pass earlier in this game. I was like, Cook, you gotta hold on to that, coach. He put it literally in his hands. But hey, at least you made up for it. Let's go. And that was a face mask, wasn't it? Let's go crazy. So 17 to 30, or 31. Did he kick? What the heck did he just do? Was that a squib kick? Either way, we got it back, man. Either way. I'm trying to figure out what kind of kick was that, though, bro. It is crazy to see Tom Brady in a, in a Buccaneers uniform, you feel me? Hey, he got his hands on that one. That was kind of, hey, that was, that, that was close, coach. 34-17, eight minutes left. That was the end of the highlights? <laughs> Bro, these niggas play again. I ain't about. I ain't react. Who is this? What channel is this? I can't. I'm sorry, my guy. I cannot check your highlights on no more. You playing games? With the 
Let me get at least the damn ending, my nigga. I know the score didn't. You know what? We out of here, bro. We out of here. Don't even matter. Week one, my bad. It's a little sloppy, but we out of here, coach. All right, bro. That was the Saints versus Buccaneers week one. You feel me? Now, the highlights we just reacted to left it at 34 to 17. The final score was 34 to 23. So what the heck happened? If they had, oh, maybe they hit two, two field goals, I guess. Or maybe they scored a touchdown and missed the field goal. I don't know. Either way, it was 23 to 34. You feel me? My Saints held it down week one, which I expected us to do. I know it was a lot of people that was on riding the Buccaneers like, oh, man, the Bucs about to come out and do. Nah, calm down, coach. Uh, like I said, I ain't saying they ain't about to have a good season, but they still got to come through the Saints. You feel me? They still got to pause. Man. That was a little iffy. You feel me? But they have to get through the Saints. You feel me? But it is what it is. I mean, this is going to be a good season, bro. I mean, Teddy Bridgewater's on the Panthers. Of course, you got Tom Brady and Gronk on the Bucks. Still got the Falcons. So that's full. Decent teams. I feel like Carolina might finish last in the division this year, possibly. It's either going to be them or Atlanta, I would think. But we going to wait and see, bro, how this how this season unfolds. I wonder how it's going to become, like, Super Bowl time. Like, are they still going to have no fans? I just I just wonder how, how this season is going to unfold. But week one, my boys held it down. I don't really put too much on week one because it's week one. And they didn't have preseason. So it was no real like game action, you feel me, to, to like actually get ready for this game one. So, you know what I'm saying? We did win it. We're still 1-0. It is what it is, but I ain't going to put too much into it, you feel me? Um, but who, who, who the Saints play next week, bro? Let me go ahead and check this real quick. All right, so we got the Raiders next week on for Monday Night Football. So, we hey, stay tuned for that reaction. We got the Packers after that, Lions, Chargers. It's a whole list, but we got the Raiders next week, Monday Night Football, bro. 815. Y'all stay tuned, your boy. Wait, is that this week? No, that's that's I'm like, hey, I know good well they ain't about to have us play tomorrow, my nigga, but that's next Monday. So y'all stay tuned for that. And the uh, the Raiders are now called the Las Vegas Raiders, I think. Which is kind of weird too. Like, I don't know, bro. It's just it's it's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff to take in at one time for this season starting as quick as it did. But either way, like I said, my Saints held it down. But I need y'all to get down there in the comments. Let me know who y'all rocking with for this season. Let me know what y'all think about these first week highlights. Um, I mean, what y'all prediction is for the Saints record this year, bro? I would say off the lineup, give us 13 and 3, coach. Or 12 and 4. 13 and 3 or 12 and 4. Y'all get down there with y'all predictions for our record this season. But I ain't really got too much else to say about it, bro. You feel me? Like I said, y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about it. But hey, man, we on the road to 15K subscribers. Hey, team, I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. Hey, y'all definitely be sure to go check your boy out. Instagram, Twitter, man. That's underscore AT. And definitely be sure to go check out the clothing line as well. Instagram, Twitter. That's at 5 King. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smack that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all on the next video. I need a box to sit to the spot. You're trapping this froze, and I'm getting hot. I'm having all the O's looking like N.I.